what a way to, to start off an event to talk about the ever-changing geopolitical world, you know, and, but also what I found really impressive about that was that we were looking at solutions as well. There is a tendency for it to be, be a bit doom and gloom with the rise of populism, the rise of nationalism, all these kind of things, but actually there are solutions in place and to have those two panelists, human rights uh, from the president of Colombia, I mean, come on, this is absolutely superb. And for me, it's to leave with that optimism and to, to, to find solutions for the future. What you, what's important about these kind of discussions is that you go around, uh, I mean, there will be some solutions that perhaps uh, others might not trust, but inevitably it's about provoking thoughts. And I think that's what's even more brilliant about today, uh, not just the session, but also the summit. It, everything's changing and um, we even spoke about uh, the, the lack of independence of uh, the media as well. I mean, unfortunately, we're looking at characters now, we're looking at headlines and I mean, dare, dare we say what Donald Trump does with his this Twitter feed and what I was, I was actually speaking to someone earlier it's not just the media it's the fact that even world leaders so many people now have the power what happens in the everyday world as we're seeing directly affects what happens in the financial world but for us to talk outside our circles of trust so we can learn from other people's perspectives that's what I want today to achieve and hopefully if it's a success we can do another one